In this video, I wanna show you how you can get more done in less time so you can make more money. Cause people always say you shouldn't make money fast or don't look for fast money. No, you gotta make money fast. In fact, the velocity in which you can acquire capital is what's important. If I tell you somebody made $100,000, it's only impressive if I tell you the time frame. If they made $100,000 in 10 years, that's not impressive at all. That's $10,000 a fucking year. That's poverty shit, man. That motherfucker's below the poverty line, right? But if I said he made $100,000 in a week, then you're impressed. Now he probably has some disposable income that he can use to deploy against his other goals and or to flex on the haters and stun on the hoes. Probably a combination. Cause check it out, every month, you have bills at the end of the month or the beginning of the month. If you make more money within that month, then guess what? When you have to pay the bills, then you have a surplus. And if you can increase the velocity in which you acquire capital, then your surplus will be larger. And you could take that surplus and invest it into other income producing ventures, whether it's investing or your own business or whatever other shit you got going on. But you have to have a surplus to do that. And the faster you can acquire capital, the bigger your surplus can be once you pay the bills. So you have to make money fast. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to increase the speed in which you can acquire capital so you can expedite your balling. You need a few things in order to expedite your balling. You need speed, you also need focus, and you need productivity. Speed, focus, and productivity, right? Because if you're moving fast and you're not focused, well, you can move fast and crash. Crackheads move fast, but they ain't got no focus. But you also need to be productive, right? Because you can be focused on the wrong shit <laughs> and it won't help you accomplish your goals. So you need to make sure that what you're focused on are activities that will make you productive, right? So speed, focus, and productivity, that expedites balling. How do we get there? Well, there's three steps. First thing you have to do is you have to plan your work. And I'll break this down and go into more detail, then you also have to eliminate distractions. I'm gonna go into how you can accomplish this. And then here's something that most people don't talk about. You have to manage your energy. You have to manage your energy. And I'm gonna break down what each one of these mean, but first I have to show you how this works because when you plan your work and eliminate distractions, that gives you what? that gives you the focus. When you've eliminated distractions and you manage your energy, right? So you're, you're, you manage your energy, now you can be productive. And if you got your energy right and you got a plan that you're working, well, that's gonna give you speed. Let's say you're missing any one of these. Let's say you plan your work, you eliminate distractions, but you, you fuck up your energy, you got no energy. Oh man, that's so you make no progress. You're like a fucking car. It has this GPS and it has a driver, but fucking no gas. That shit ain't going nowhere. But let's say you got energy. You got fucking crackhead energy, man. And, and you plan your work, but then you get distracted. You got all these distractions. Ah, oh, man, well, that's no focus. No focus, you ain't going nowhere, man. You're gonna go somewhere, but it's not where you wanna go. All right, well, let's say you manage your energy and you eliminate distractions, but you ain't got a plan. You need a game plan if you wanna be covering the name brand. So you gonna have no direction. You like reverse Harry Styles. You can see why you need all three of these to succeed. It's kind of like a three-legged stool. You need each one of these pillars to be sturdy. How do we accomplish that? Well, the first thing we need to do is when you're planning your work, you actually have to define the task. Get super clear on what you're trying to accomplish. I talk to people and they say, oh man, I'm, I gotta, I wanna grow my following. I'm like, all right, what, what does that mean? Well, what are you doing to grow your following? Oh, you know, I'm posting. How often are you posting? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm posting a lot. Or you, in a diet context, somebody says, oh, I'm trying to lose weight. Well, what's your diet like? Oh, I eat good. It's like, well, what does eating good mean to you? You know, eating healthy. I'm like, oh, fuck. There's no definition. Something that's poorly defined can't be accomplished. So we have to get specific about what we're trying to accomplish. Whatever the task is, however often you want to do it, right? So in the weight loss context, it's, hey, what's the task for today? work out, <laughs> burn X amount of calories. In a scrawny social media context, it would be, I'm gonna do like Brandon Carter and I'm gonna post every day to Instagram. I'm gonna post three times a day to TikTok, three times a day to YouTube shorts and have a long form YouTube video on YouTube every day. Now we have definition. You don't have to go as hard as me. I'm a G, you a guy. 
once you've defined the task, now we have to set limits. When I say set limits, I mean time limits. So when I had to do a task, I put it in my calendar. Like I've showed you my calendar before. I set how long the task is going to take, but it's not how long the task is going to take. It's how long I'm going to allocate for this task. And then I look at it like a race. It's like, okay, boom, I gotta get this done in 30 minutes. I gotta get this done in an hour. And I go super hard. This gives you what? A sense of urgency. Cause if you give yourself all day to do a task, it might take you all day. So you wanna really set limits and set constraints on the amount of time you spend on a task and work like hell to get the task done within those parameters. That alone, Will help you accomplish more like i can i can stop this video there you just do those two things and you're going to start to be way more productive i remember when i used to edit my own videos and have a lot of time right because i had multiple jobs i was putting out two youtube videos a day and i had to edit them myself before i hired nima and harry when it came to the editing part i only had a certain amount of time and so i would go furiously i eliminated all distractions as i did and we'll show you how going forward that's the next step but it was almost like a game all right i gotta edit these amount of videos in this amount of time. So you start moving faster and then you have to prioritize task. So if you're like me, you're super ambitious, almost to your detriment. And you're going to have a huge list of things you want to accomplish every day, but you almost never accomplish everything every day. Almost never. Not because you're lazy, because you try to pack as much fucking into each day as possible. So knowing that you want to prioritize and make sure you get the most important stuff done first and all the other bullshit, you put that towards the end of the day. Prioritize tasks by either importance or urgency. A good book on this is uh, Eat That Frog by the homie uh, Brian Tracy. You don't have to read the whole book, but he said, just do the shit that you hate the most each day. That's usually the thing that's going to move you towards your goal the fastest, you know? But here's the thing, we can plan our work, but everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. And one thing that punches a lot of people in the fucking face are distractions. We have to go out of our way to eliminate distractions. So the first thing we have to do is actually identify distractions. I like to make a list of the things that can possibly distract me and make a game plan to stay away from that shit or to keep that shit away from me. That may mean telling the people who are close to me, hey, I'm going to be busy for the rest of the afternoon because I got to fucking stay focused. We want to eliminate all the distractions we can. Once we've identified them, we want to eliminate as many as possible, at least the ones that are in our control. Maybe I identify, hey, sometimes I get hungry when I'm working for long stretches of time. And then if I start eating, I get distracted, I fucking turn on Sports Center or some shit. So in order to mitigate that, maybe, you know, what I like to do is I'll eat a lot of food sometimes before a, a big workout session, or I'll bring some protein shakes into my office with me. And if I get hungry, I'll, I'll just chug them and then get back to work. And then you want to set up a di distraction free zone. So this can be, you know, a place in your crib or a place in your office. Or I remember when we had our office in Manhattan, it would be a lot going on in the office. I'm going live in that motherfucker. I got chicks and sports bras and leggings fucking doing workouts next to me. I'm running around with my shirt off yelling at the cameras multiple times a day. So one of the employees in order to set up a distraction free zone, for himself he would go to a coffee shop or something with a noise canceling headphones and then he would just knock out his work a lot of my students in my high ticket trainer program you know they're solopreneurs and you know they work from home but homes a lot of distractions whether it's family kids or friends or whatever's going on in the crib may be a big distraction so some of them go as far as to get workspaces like uh, we work or a desk at we work so they can get away or if you can set it up at your crib like if you can set up like a home office so I have this podcast studio in this house, but I also have another room that's just an office. I just work in there. And if I'm in there with the door closed, my girl knows not to fucking disturb me unless it's a straight up emergency. And then I also set focus modes on, on my Apple devices where like only a few people can get in touch with me this emergency. My son's mom, my girlfriend, uh, my mom, and my chief operating officer in my business. They're the only people who can get in touch with me if there's an emergency, right? When I, when I had that mode on. But what most people don't talk about as it pertains to productivity is actually managing your energy. Because if you don't have energy, then you can't move forward. You can do all this shit, but if you're fucking sleepy or tired, it's not gonna make a difference. And you can't be tired out here. If you're tired, you, you might as well be retired. You ain't gonna be able to compete with me. So how do we handle that? Well, first of all, you have to know your limits. I had to learn this the hard way. I had been working super hard 
most of my life you know when i was a kid my mom used to wake me up at 5 30 to walk me to preschool before she got on the bus and then i went to military school and i would wake up before everyone else to fucking run a mile and get showered and dressed and clean my room before the fucking trumpet went off in the morning like i i've been going hard for a long time so I was accustomed to it. But when I had got employees, I was really trying to push them, push them, push them, push them. And what happened was, man, people would get burnt out. They would get fucking sick. They would actually catch colds and shit because they just weren't accustomed to going that hard. I was saying that to one of my mentors. He said, nah, Brandon, man, they just, they never worked this hard before. You're used to this shit. You've been doing this for a long time. It, it would be like if you started training somebody for the first time, they never worked out before and you got them benching 300 pounds or something. It was like, it's, it's not going to work. They're going to get hurt. And I had to start scaling back and I'd start managing my employees energy and see who's working too hard or whatever, at least until I can ramp them up, you know, <laughs> get them stronger. Because once you know your limits and you got to work within your limits, don't push yourself so hard that you get exhausted because sometimes you get exhausted you fuck around and get sick right if the cortisol goes too high your immune system starts to drop me i ain't been sick in like fucking seven years <laughs> i digress what happens is when you start like pushing your limits a little bit it's like any other muscle you train yourself to work harder but initially you got to know what your limits are right i know one of my limitations is if i get under seven hours of sleep then my performance degrades significantly. I'm not as nice. I'm not getting as much done. So I have to prioritize at least seven hours of sleep every night. And the next thing you need to do is actually plan downtime. In some of my videos, when I talk about how when I was broke, I would work like 80 hours a week and I had four different jobs. I refused to be broke. It was during the recession in, in 2008 and I just refused to be broke so i just started working 80 hours a week because i had to right my father had just committed suicide and i had to take care of the whole family and i was like fucking i'm gonna do this i refuse to be broke and everyone says all the comments are well you'll never have a life you'll never have you, you're gonna waste your gears blah 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 nah man there was some recreation during that time maybe not as much as your goofy ass i'm playing around and shit playing with myself all day right but i had some downtime but i planned it so even now i plan my downtime in my calendar like my date night with my girls in my calendar if I'm gonna spend time with my nieces or my son like I, I plan it and I spend a lot of time with both of them my son lives in a different state than me and I fly there every other weekend that's like downtime with me that's like recreation we do a bunch of fun shit and like I plan this shit you know I was at the heat game last night my boy has a uh, season tickets there and he has a whole suite so I can just like show up whenever I want right <laughs> and I planned it Kevin Hart came through I went to the Kevin Hart concert went to the Drake concert <laughs> you know like I I, I plan a downtime while working significantly harder than almost everyone else but you plan the downtime but you need that too gives you a little bit of a recharge but you got to plan it so a lot of entrepreneurs the most ambitious among us will just work non-stop work non-stop and never plan the downtime and that's when the relationships start to get fucked up they have weird relationships with their kids because they were never around I don't miss shit from my son man they had a fucking thanksgiving event i flew down there <laughs> and did this went to the school event i don't miss nothing i miss nothing i'm not saying you gotta have the money to fly first class to a different state every fucking week where your kids but i'm saying is you just gotta plan it down it could just be fucking date night on the couch with your girl or you could be going outside with your kids so you know something sometimes it's me i'm t i take my niece and nephew to the zoo you know what i'm saying but you gotta plan this shit because it's just as important as the business because it's going to give you energy when you have downtime and you have enough sleep like i didn't even sacrifice sleep during those 80 hours a week shit. i didn't sacrifice much sleep i didn't need as much when i was younger but now i need at least seven hours cool i, I just make sure i get seven hours and i plan it and i manage it then the next thing you have to do is manage your diet you can get a lot of energy from your diet or your diet can really fuck up your energy and i have a video all about this how you can utilize your nutrition to be more productive and run circles around your competition because you got so much more energy mental clarity and focus go watch that video right now it's too much to get into here It'd be a whole nother hour